previously on Fallout New Vegas. Father Elijah tasked Courier 6 with assembling three other poor souls as part of his grand plan. All three were also being held in the villa surrounding the Sierra Madre and were also wearing explosive collars. The area was rife with danger in the form of pre-war security installations and an enormous looming toxic cloud. The cloud had even mutated many of the locals for the worst, but still the courier persevered and was able to find the first of the three, a mute named Christine. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We're here in the streets of the Sierra Madre's Villa, looking around at some nasty dudes who are trying to mess us up in a big way. And they almost got away with it too, if it weren't for my fantastic Olympian physique and my ability to destroy their heads with a single spear throw. I mean, that sounds... I, I, I say that like it's impressive, but... Uh, I mean, in real life, if you threw a gigantic spear at someone's head, they would probably not survive either. <laughs> it's gotta be said. Uh, find me, and we can talk. Who? Is this, is this someone specific? Do I... Oh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe there's someone here who is hiding around. I don't know, let's bring up our big map. Make sure we're going the right way. You know, this looks like the, the path of dog... Oh, look, there's a bad guy up here. We got a quick save. He might get us. I don't know how conservative I should be with these, uh, stim packs. We do have a few, but I don't know if I should be saving them for, like, some sort of big rumble or what. I think we might be able to kill one more dude, though, without healing up for sure. And I'm not sure if maybe this food should be saved. I don't know. Oh, look, a bobby pin right there in the corner. How about that? Oh man, this is creepy. Reminds me of um, that level in Half-Life 2, uh, Ravenholm, or Ravenholt? I can't remember. Look, is that something over there? I think that is. What is that? Is that a corpse up there? What, it... what in the hell? Huh. I wonder how you get over to that. It definitely looks like something we could get over to. Let's see, Sh can we... Hmm. We might be able to climb up there, I don't know. Is that a door? Fuck it. Actually, you know what? Let's not fuck it yet. Eh, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, let's fuck it right now. Uh, here we go! It's you! Ooh. Fantastic. Alright. What have we got? Oh shit, it's a gun! Oh my god, awesome! Look, there's more stuff here. Look at all this, there's a bunch of treasures around. Oh. Puesta del Sol. Don't go through the gate to Puesta del Sol yet. Gather the others first. Okay, okay, jeez. Jeez, you're you're booming into my ear hole. Alright. Oh look, he dropped some coins in uh twelve or twenty gauge, I think. I guess that's how you know to look up, right? Alright, we're gonna try and jump and grab it. The jump and grab Oh fuck, we fucked up. But can we just Oh look, alright. <laughs> Fine, we didn't have to do any sort of wild uh, maneuvering. Cool. A single shotgun. I'll take it. Oh, look, we're over-encumbered now. Gosh, we've actually picked up so much garbage here that we are over-encumbered. My god. Um, I guess we'll drop a bunch of these clipboards, huh? We don't need them. Right? Um, we could probably also dump off some cigarettes now that I'm thinking of it. We should probably do that. Rather than just lugging them around. So as good as it is to have a single shotgun, um, I'm actually pretty down with just using these spears for now. Honestly. I mean, you gotta factor in the, the idea that there is a chance that we can one-shot them. Oh my god, what am I doing? Just looting stuff non-stop. Here, let's, let's get over to one of those vendor machines. Let's see. Make sure we're going the correct direction. Right on the left. Oh look, we can fast travel now. At least it seems that way. It might pop up with an alert. You can't fast travel right here. All right. Do some trade-ins. There we go. Four of them. And here we go. Seven of them. Man, that'll bring our weight down for sure. Look at that. We even got some XP. We get challenge complete. Huh. So we could buy some stim packs. They're oh man, twenty-five for one stim pack. I mean, we do have 515, but still, I feel like maybe we should just save them. 
Which we may do. Oh my gosh. Do you notice I'm, my, my cold is coming back? Good lord. I'm gonna sound funny for the rest of this, aren't I? <laughs> Fuck me. Alright. Not a good time. Oh god. Alright, let's see. Let's, let's come on up here. Uh, gosh. Anything worth looking at? No, the, oh, look! A pack of cigarettes. We almost missed it. Okay. Uh, let's sneak on up into this. Oh, look, some more ammo on the ground here. 20 gauge. Grab some of that. More ammo. We don't have this magnum, though, which is uh, a little disappointing. Oh, look at that. We almost missed this over here in the corner. Man, we have a lot of 20 gauge rounds now, though. Maybe we should have it out. Why not? We have so many. Alright. And we are pretty skilled at guns. Whereas, like, thrown weapons, not so much. Alright, what do we have in here? Oh, an actual- Oh my gosh, a police pistol! Oh, well, we're, we're using that for sure. Let's see. I mean, I suppose we could repair some of these up. We have a shitload of these. These are really weighing us down, it's gotta be said. Um... Let's see. Let's get the police pistol out, though. Oh, nice! It's like a revolver. Cool. That works especially well for us. Fantastic. Yeah, there's, um... As much as I appreciate and love the, uh, western uh, motif and vibe of standard New Vegas, uh, there's something to be said for this DLC being just essentially, like, horror-themed. It's pretty fun. Alright, let's turn off our thing, because it looks like there's a bad boy up here. On the right. Let's get ready. Do you see him? No. Okay. Oh. Let's just peek around the corner like we're playing Counter-Strike or something. Where the fuck is he? Do you think he's on top? Oh, uh, shit, is he gonna drop down and try and bomb me? Oh, God, where are you? Oh, no, he's definitely just up there a ways. Look, we have some rewards here, though. A bunch of people dumping chips and whiskey. There we go, nice. Get a whole lot of them. Alright, hopefully we can just blast this dude's head clean off with this magnum. Oh, look, another secret. You should say we know, though, right? <laughs> Cosmic knife. A Sierra Madre Martini? Huh. Wow, restores a lot of health! Holy heck. Alright, well, I'll take it. Oh look, and a caravan shotgun! Wow! Let's see. Which is better, um... The single or the caravan? I think the caravan is. Yeah, especially since it holds two. 5.4 times 7. Or... 6 times 7. Hmm. Well, if we want to... Nah. Because the two rounds are really good. Yeah. Alright. I guess the scrap metal is good for um, us turning shit into uh, lead as well, rather than just repair kits. Let's see. Uh, We should probably start repairing these up, shouldn't we? Oh my gosh. Throwing knife spears can also be repaired with this? Okay. I mean, maybe... Hmm. We'll probably hold off on that, because the throwing knife spears are so good. Alright, what else have we got? A chair? Seems about it. I like how that uh, gun was hidden right there. I like uh, all the little hidden trinkets around in this area. Ooh, is that a spear? Yeah. Stim pack. More chips. Jeez, where are they? What does that say? Find God in the simplest of beasts. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys freaking knew it, but backwards dog says God. The dog God. Watch out for the villain inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. All right. Fair enough. I mean, let's see if I can't pop a noggin off here. Oh, shit, but this one is ripe for the kill. Here, maybe we can get a nice, good he headshot. Let's turn around, you bastard. Gosh, he's really hunched over. 
Maybe we can shoot him in the leg and blow his leg off. Did we get him in the head? All right, did we dismember him? Oh no, it says he's unconscious. All right, let's head on up here and smack him up a bit. Uh, let's see, let's use a cosmic knife. Please don't come alive while I'm dismembering you, you sick bastard. There we go. Ha ha! Get up from that! Ooh, what was that? Why was there some, like, horrific uh, audio cue there? Did that mean something? I don't know about this. Let's pair up these spears. There we are. Okay. Um, let's see. We should probably bind our, um, stim packs back to one. Just in case we need them real bad. And let's get the police pistol out. It's actually not that great, is it? Because we can't, uh, blast them immediately. We could repair it up some with a repair kit. Nah, we'll save it in case there's, like, a really tough enemy. That's That seems more, uh... That, that makes more sense to me. Because for now, these we're, we're blowing these guys apart. Let's see, what have we got in here? Cigarettes and turpentine. Sure thing. Alright, was there anyone up here that we could have uh, looted? No. Alright, just one way. Fair enough. It sounds like a choo-choo or something, huh? I mean, not that weird audio cue, but like in the distance, I don't know if you could... Yeah. Let's see, let's bring up our map. Which, should we have gone left? It looks kind of like it loops around, doesn't it? Here, maybe we'll go left and inspect this terminal. Might be able to turn off some sort of hologram. Yeah. Activate hologram? Why would I activate it? I don't know, maybe it's not a security hologram. Let's activate it and see. Worst case, we just reload. Oh, okay, yeah, it's not a security hologram at all. Hey! Uh, what's... Okay. Well, I guess we... <laughs> I don't know what, what we do with that! But there it is! Maybe it was to distract someone or something? I have no idea. Some sort of strange puzzle. Alright, let's come on up here. I like how close quarters this all is. Oh no, one of these. Ugh. Oh look, a heart. What have we got? Wonder glue and chips. Very good. Alright. Let's see, should we risk it? Should we risk the doomsday cloud? I don't know. It's tempting. It is certainly tempting. Maybe we try it. Maybe we just fucking try it. You know what? Quick save. Here we go. Uh, let's see. In here, oven. Got some cram. Here, maybe we should eat some food? I don't know. Nah, maybe we'll use some stim packs. We'll just stim pack. Um, let's see. There we go. Uh, should we repair these up again? I don't know. Our weight is getting kind of out of control. Eh, we'll be fine. Eff it. Okay, what else have we got? Anything good? Oh dear god. Uh, not seeing anything. Bunch of poop laying on the floor here. A guitar! Look, Patriot's cookbook. Oh dear god, we're getting annihilated. Um, we want to save three of these cosmic knives. So one, two, all right, there. And... Good lord. Let's see, what else can we dump? Let's dump this... these, uh, fucking clothes. We really don't need that. Um... Charisma, we, we don't really need that if we have, uh... Well, fuck it, we'll just hold on to it. Look at that, it, the fucking clothes set off the bear trap. Fair enough. Anything else in here before we try and get out of here? We're just wasting so many stim packs. Whew! Let's see if it was worth it. Eh, we got some more stim packs and ammo. A grenade box, okay. If there's ever a really tough super one, we can blast through them. Alright, great. Jeez, I almost feel like we should go on back to the old, uh... 
what do you call it machine repair machine um you know what let's eat some food I guess yeah I guess I guess we should good way to keep our our weight in check ironically enough all right sneak on down here what is that sign oh it's the police station are they being robbed or something is that like a store alarm like help help there's a robbery in progress I don't know you have to be pretty ballsy though to rob a police station of all places reminds me of that one level in hotline Miami all right a whole bunch of chips wonder if this one yeah it looks like there's a little doohickey there in the center I don't know. Might be able to activate this fountain. All the fountains might have a, a person within. Alright. Let's see. Is there anything else here that I should be watching out for? Like, is there someone watching me just grab all these? Oh, there is. Huh. Oh, there's two dudes over there. Alright. We may try and vat some because we get a higher crit chance. Depends on if we're more cautious about saving ammo or saving condition. I feel like ammo is more important. Because we've got a few repair packs. So let's just try and vats blast. Vats and blast. Oh, it's a rad roach. Okay. Huh, there's a lot of them, I think. Are they all roaches, though? Gosh, I'm fucking scared. All right, you rad roach. Um, let's see. Let's pull out a knife and knife it. I can't believe I just missed with that fucking swing. Fair enough. Oh, wow. 60? Or 51? Oh, I guess it's because, yeah, the, the Chivo. Fair enough. Grab some of this. Let's see. Anything good in here? Uh, another lead pipe, conductor, fire hose nozzle. I don't know if we need the lead pipe. We're, we're pretty well off on weapons now. Could loot that. Gosh, do we really want to go in there? Maybe not yet. Maybe we'll explore... Oh, God! We'll explore around a little bit before we head in there. We might find something to make us immune to it. Or maybe not. Probably not. We may just have to eventually brave it. We'll see if we can't find some sort of, like, full restore. Oh, a gun cabinet. All right. Big money! A laser pistol and just some ammunition. Fair enough, I guess. Uh, let's see. Good god, man. Maybe we should be using the throwing knife spears the next time. That way we can at least uh, bring down our weight. I feel kind of bad about eating this food, though. But fuck it, let's do it. Uh, let's see. See anything? Let's turn on our light. Uh, oh yeah, look! Sierra Madre armor. Alright. I wonder what the difference is. Uh, 15 DT, whereas this is 14. Well, I mean, one, that one seems way better. How do I look? It's just security armor, okay. Um, should we just take this with us, maybe? I don't know. Let's see, what do we have that we can ditch? Gosh, we're weighed down so much. It's amazing how much garbage we have on us already. It's probably all this food, honestly. Yeah, let's just eat some, I guess. We're doing it. Deviled eggs, let's see, pork and beans. Drink some water. Eh, yeah, we'll drink one water. Eat some junk food and all that. There we go. Shit, we're still weighed down. I wasn't watching the weight meter. There we go. We'll just eat all this until we get to... There we go. Alright. Turn off the light. Hello? Is there anything up here? Doesn't look like it, does it? No. Alright. Fair enough. There's definitely something in there. But I don't know if I want to go over there just yet. That said, we, we are pretty full up on health since we did that big time eating. But at the same time, yeah, let's turn around. Let's not go in there yet. Uh, let's let's pull out our gun. I feel a lot safer with the, the gun out at the ready. 
In case some guy just, like, spawns behind us and tries to grab us. Uh, police pistol. There it is. I was looking for, uh, a regular-ass name. Alright. That's it. Can we drink from that? No. Uh, oh, this one's locked. Might be something good. Oh. And, oh. Oh. There we go. Whew! Gosh, we're getting weighed down again. Bobby pin? We don't need a sensor module. At least I don't think so. Jesus, we need to... Uh, Dandy Boy Apple, sure, let's do it. Uh, let's see, metal box, cigarettes, fuck, we should really take that. And turpentine. Oh look, the police station. There might be a crafting station in here. Let's do it. I'm guessing, uh, the dog god is in here. The god of all the dogs. Right. Yeah, we know about that. Oh, look. More food. Okay. Well, we're not picking up any bogeys. We are picking up a friendly, but it seems like that's our, our tracker. Oh, shit. Alright. Let's see. We're gonna have to look for, uh, where this fucking thing is, huh? Ooh, god, that's terrifying. <laughs> that's scary as shit! Alright. Um, let's quick save here, and... Let's see, what should we use to blast this thing? We should probably save our uh, police pistol, shouldn't we? Hollow rifle, however. We're not that skilled with energy weapons, so it might be better to use it. Alright, let's quick save and then do a quick run in. Oh. Noise makes my stomach God! Hurt. Oh, fuck me. Alright, here we go. Check in the right. No, it's not there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't see it or anything. Fuck me. Maybe we need to come in from a different angle, huh? Yeah, let's let's go out the other way cuz there was another entrance, right? Maybe that's how we see where it is because we're coming in from the back. It might mean trouble for us. All right. Let's see. Where is the uh is this it? Yeah. This looks like it. All right, cool. Find God in the simplest of beasts. Okay, yeah. All right, here we go. This might be how we fucking tango now. Ah, oh, shit. I still don't see it. It might be in that room. That behind that door. Here we go. Oh shit. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Can we come over here and, and investigate anything? Uh, uh. Gosh, I don't see anything. Seven hells. Alright. Let's just do a fucking mad dash run. Oh god, we're just gonna fucking blow up. Oh, oh this is a safe zone. Okay. Is there a basement? Yeah, dog. Okay. Here, let's turn him up a bit. The voices went down. Freaking old man Elijah isn't screaming in our ear anymore. God. Oh, God. Was that a radio? Is that what that is? Alright, okay. There we go. Good. Oh, shit. So there must be... Okay. We need to be on the lookout for these. I was looking for a similar radio that we saw in the other location. But that's definitely not what we're looking for. Alright, let's quick save. Come on in here. Oh, is this it? I mean, that was one. Let's see, is that one right there? Yeah, that looks like one. There we go. Fuck. I'll be good this time. What's that? I oh. promise, Master. Just let's reload. Good lord. Oh god. We got stuck on the freaking thing there. Um, do you see any? I don't see any. Let's come on over here. Did we get them all? 
All right, got him. Nailed it. All right, that leads out. Let's see, what have we got? Steady. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll be good this time. Man, this ambient dialogue master. sure is creepy. Keep him away. Police chief's terminal. All right. Let's see what we can find. Um, let's see. Huh. Let's try description. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Just three are wrong. All right. Um, that's two, three. All right, that's four that are wrong. Um, it's definitely not influential. Description, persecution. Um, let's see. One, two, three, no, four. Mistrusting, definitely not. Observation. One, two, three, four, nope. Let's see, destruction. Uh, one, uh, two, three. There we go. Nice. All right. Disengage contraband room lock. Prohibited items. All right, that, that must be to get the dog god out. Let's do it. Uh, prohibited items. Who, who chained him up in there, by the way, I wonder? Sinclair's prohibition list is going to be difficult to enforce and told him so. Uh, he claims we're getting an automated system that would confiscate items, even the slightest bit radioactive or foreign, and ship them back to the visitor's source address. Ask them about items already in the villa. Didn't mention the construction crew, and he dismissed it. Of course, no sooner than Sinclair gives his prohibition speech, his pal swings by the same hour, asking how hard-nosed we were going to be. Told him he couldn't guarantee he he could keep me supplied if he didn't treat his friends with the same respect. Prick. Huh. I wonder if they knew that the bombs were going to fall, hence the radioactive uh, bit. Maybe there's like a vault here. Uh, security system installation. Sinclair installed a new security system for visitors coming into and out of the villa. He doesn't seem to care too much about what they do when they're inside, only that we confiscate any personal items that could be dangerous or foreign, and make sure we know who enters and leaves. Asked him again about watching the construction crews. He said that was a villa matter. Great. That means the prick runs the show. As long as there were no more accidents among the crews, that's what he cared about. Barely tucked my flask under the desk before he showed up. He gets with that disapproving look when he sees the hard stuff. Huh. Alright. Oh, another police thing. Let's repair ours up, I suppose. There, good thing we didn't waste our repair stuff on it. Yeah, it's fully uh, operational now. Good. Alright, we got some whiskey, I guess. Yeah, that must be the whiskey from uh, the description there. Cool. Oh, look. Oh, look, we can get 357 rounds. Cool. We are in a walking mode. Holy shit! Oh my god! What? What is this doing here? I mean, okay, yeah, it is a police station, but still. Holy shit! Man, we're definitely not going to be able to carry that thing around. Not with all this trash on us. Um, let's see. What, what all can we... Huh... We need to get rid of some shit now, for sure. We've got too many medical braces, you know what? Let's dump two of them. Before we do any more looting, let's talk to the dog god and look for some, uh... crafting stations. There's gotta be a crafting station at the police... I'll be good this time. I promise, oh, it's not open. Master, just keep him away. Jesus, look, he's got, like, uh, scars on his back like he was whipped and lashed. You know, I was saying earlier that, um, normally I would have the radio on and, and be listening to that to, uh, ease the tension. But, uh, I realized that this is actually a DLC, which means that there wouldn't be radio access, right? At least that's how it worked in, uh, the first one. Oh, look, a secret stash. Oh, nice. Let's take these. Uh, let's see, more stuff. Police pistol again. Wow. Wow. Uh, let's see, let's... How repaired up is our current one? I 
guess we can do one more, because we did find that other one in that other room. Alright. Is there a thing on the wall? Oh, yeah, look at this! Man, hidden back here! Good lord. More of this good stuff. Wow, are, we are really weighed down in a major way. Let's be on the lookout for a, a crafting th bench first. Before we do much else. There we go. Oh, no, that's reloading. Anything in here? Scrap metal. I mean, I guess we can fix up some ammo if we wanted to. Um, let's see. We can make nails. Which I don't know what we would do with that. Um... I guess let's break down this scrap metal, huh? Can make some 308. But I don't think there's a pistol in the gun that uses 308, is there? No. Um... Hmm. Yeah, we can't actually craft this stuff just yet. We have cases, but, uh, we would need powder and all that. Right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe we hold off on that. So hungry. Let's keep looking around for a uh, crafting bench. A standard one. If not, I guess we can go all the way back to the freaking, uh, what do you call it place? The, uh, the doctor's office. Oh, that's, uh, there's some environmental storytelling for you. Yeah, there's no crafting benches. We're just going, uh, through this real quick. We can, we'll definitely come back and scour the area. Let's check the basement. Turn off the light, too, in case there's a bad dude down here just, like, doing some foul acts in the darkness. I'm not picking up any- you would come below the cage, down to where I am. Maybe you saw the letters I scratched on the villa walls. A little farther. Follow my voice. That's it. The one in the cage? Dog. I had to lock him up. He keeps... disobeying me. What the fuck? Who the hell is this? Oh shit. More of this bullshit, huh? Damn it! All right, we're coming back. This is there's clearly a humongous area down there. We're gonna go hit up the clinic again, do some crafting. We're gonna uh, like use our Braxo. Cl oh, is that a person in there? Oh no, wait, it's a dead person. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't let him make me hurt myself. Hurt keeps him away. Sorry, dog. The dog god. I'll be back. Let's see. Potent. But, uh, not good enough. Bobby pin. We could probably stash some coffee mugs, you know? I got weirded out thinking that uh, all this stuff would be actually useful, but not all of it. I mean, the acoustic guitar seems pretty good. We're definitely gonna keep that. Like, chessboard? There, we don't need that. Camera, we don't need that. Pots. Mugs. Conductor. Yeah, we, we went too buck wild on the collecting. Alright. Yeah, let's head back to the uh, repair station. Oh, look, a glass pitcher. We needed that for something, didn't we? Yeah, all right. Oh, God, that scared me. You don't think we got respawns, do you? Turpentine. Yeah, we needed that as well. Good thing we came out this way. All right, let's see. Where is the... There, medical district. Oh, we can't fast travel. Okay, fair enough. Well, it's not that far off. Oh god, that, that freaked me out a little bit. It must be the rad roaches. Hopefully they're rad roaches. And hopefully some big bastard hasn't just spawned out here. But if there is, I'll fucking blast them. Oh, look at that. Nice. Alright. Oh gosh. I kind of regret spawning that guy in. That seems like a mistake. How spooky is that shit, huh? Good lord. Oh man, this is, this is unnerving. I'm fine going back through areas where I'm, like, having trouble. Like, I, I talked about this. I forgot where I talked about this, but, um... If it was in Fallout, I'll, I'll go over it again. Why not? Um... The, the thing about horror games is once you start dying a lot, uh, they become significantly less scary. So that's always, like, if you're playing a scary game, and you're really getting scared, and you don't... You're, you're like, okay, I don't want this to be challenging anymore. I don't want to be scared anymore. I'm through with this. Just, uh, 
like make suicidal runs where you intend to purposefully die multiple times, and then you're not afraid anymore. And of course that works to the disadvantage of uh, whoever's making the game because uh, obviously you have to strike a really hard balance of uh, difficulty and all that. Let's craft some of these up. Or trade some of them in, I should say. All right, medical district, here we come. Let's see. Maybe we should have talked to what's-her-name back there. I don't know. Oh, God. What was that? What the hell was that? Something's... Oh, look, a Braxo cleaner. All right, thanks for, uh, spawning in there. Or, uh, jingle-jangling a bit, I guess. Oh, okay. I finally understand what that's for. It was actually pointing at the, uh, the speaker. All right. Come on over this way. No respawns, which is good. But you'll notice how, um, it seems like they, they definitely had, like, a scripted event to where when we came out of there, more dudes spawned in to give us a good scare. So we need to expect that, like, whenever we go to another area and sort of, like, uncover part of the story, there's a good chance that, uh, something spooky is going to occur. Alright, here we are at the clinic. We're going to clean off these, uh, cosmic knives or something and form a cosmic spear. Sounds good to me. Anything else around here? No. Alright, let's see. Can we remember actually where... Oh god, that spooked me a bit. Do we remember where exactly that, uh, crafting bench was? Because good god, I don't. Was it up here? Hmm. I feel like the answer is no, because, I mean, why would it be up inside the offices, right? Is that something? No. Alright, that was a little hot plate, huh? Uh, nope. Did... What was that? Oh, no, that was part of the wall. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, okay, I think we came up through here before. Remember when we were jumping around on the rooftops and all that? Alright, must have been in the basement, right? Let's go down there and have a look around. Is this the way to the basement? Good God. This is not the way to the basement, but maybe there's a the crafting thing is around here. I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Definitely got to be in the basement then. Oh yeah, remember with the terminal and everything, right? In that little tiny room where we deactivated everything? That was where it was at. Okay. Spooky little room, huh? Alright, here we go. Do you think there's anything behind that? No. Fair enough. Worth a shot to look at it, though. Anything, uh... No, okay. okay. Alright, let's see. Um, let's clean through... Oh, we can only clean two of them. Alright. I guess we'll make... Yeah, we'll make... We made both of them. Um, we can recycle some cells. Sure. We could do an auto-inject stim pack. Um, you know what? Why not? Why not? Let's do three of them. At half health, we'll automatically get some healing. Hmm. Let's see. Anything else? No, we can't. We can't actually make anything else. Let's see. What do we need these, like, forceps and shit for? Maybe we should take a look at that. Empty syringe, Brock flower, Xander fruit. Huh. Oh god. Man, look, we need a lot of Abraxo cleaner to even make a spear. It's not just three clean knives, but we also need three Abraxo cleaner on top of it. So we need five more Abraxo. I don't like how I'm just sitting here looking through this and these spooky dudes are laughing at me. Huh. <sighs> Alright, so... Apparently, I'm like dumb as hell because I don't know what these forceps and shit are for. I thought they were for something good. But it seems like that is not the case. We may just dump them here. I don't know. If we need them, we can always come back. Um, let's see. Let's dump pilot light. Toaster. Let's see. We don't need a scalpel. We don't need scissors. Uh, solar array. What do we... <laughs> At least it's weightless. Uh, the platinum chip. Tin cans, we don't need those. Uh, turpentine, that was good for something. Um, let's see. Electronics. 
Oh shit, look at that. These NCR parts and, and the radio parts and all that. They still have weight. We're just carrying around 10 units of weight. What a bunch of bullshit. Alright. Medical brace, there you go. Glass pitcher was for something. Forceps, fuck that. Um, that's Benny's old lighter. Chlorine. Box of detergent. No, we don't need boxes of detergent, do we? It's gotta be Abraxa. We don't need these balls, either. There we go. Uh, sex- the sleepwear and all that? I mean, we don't really need to carry that around, do we? We could probably dump our, uh, jumpsuit and, uh, the Sierra Madre armor right at the center or something if we want to come back for it. I don't know. Something to consider. Uh, let's see. These knife spears, I mean, they aren't gonna really get that much better, are they? Here, let's equip that. Yeah, we definitely need to use these. That'll be our main way of keeping our weight down, is using these, uh, spears. Look at this. Oh, that's a toaster that I put there. Alright, this is like our crafting den. We can come back here and do some crafting if we ever need to. It's all safe down there in the basement. Very good. Let's check our weight. Yeah, we can carry about, uh, 53 more units of weight. Good going. Alright. Let's head on back over to the old police station and get ready to grab a whole bunch of sweet woot loot. Man, I like, um, the sort of survival nature of this. Honestly, um, I, I really enjoy, like, the, the survival modes, I suppose, and, and, like, uh, just scavenging for loot to craft up. You know, I always like, um, the idea of, uh, like, maybe in future games could make it to where actual weapons are really rare, and more often you have to, like, craft up weapon repair kits and stuff like that. Or, uh, craft together your own weapons. I don't know, I like- I like seeing the, like, junky weapons that are, like, crafted together, obviously. Um, actually, in Fallout 4, one of my favorite additions to the- to the, like, uh, arsenal, so to speak, are the- the laser muskets. I mean, they aren't- they're pretty good for, uh, like, one-shots if you get, like, a lucky one or whatever to where it has- it's built for crit damage, because you can actually do a shitload of damage with them. But I just love how they look. I think they- they fit so well with the Fallout aesthetic. I think they did great with the whole, like, uh, aesthetic, uh, additions there in Fallout 4. It's gotta be said. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Alright, we're back here at the good old police station. Did we ever look back here in this little cubbyhole area? Uh, I guess we did. Alright. Let's head on in here. Into this creepy-ass police station. My god. The dog god is- is here crying. He's- he's sad. He's been whipped. It's awful. Uh, police pistol? Yep, we'll take it. Can always repair up later. Let's read this. Oh, I thought this was going Oh, can we open? This- oh, displaying log for the holding cell. Nothing much to report. Pretty quiet tonight. Even from Puesta del Sol. Imagine Morris up in the casino prob- Morris? Probably has more than enough with the guests coming in tonight. Poor bastard. Set up the radio so I can listen in on the gala event when it fires up, and left one, uh, one out for the prisoners. If Sinclair doesn't want us to be too strict with the guests tonight, I may just toss the key in the holding cell cage with anyone we pick up, and let them unlock the door when they sleep it off. Alright, Sinclair visit. Sinclair did the rounds again today. Glad he left his ghostly entourage at the casino. Those walking light shows make me wonder why he's even got us on the staff when they could blast us in a second. Otherwise, Sinclair runs a tight ship. Good to see in these days and times. Don't know how smart he is trying to make a resort to escape everything in the outside world, but rich guys can make it happen. Even ones that have been hit hard like Sinclair has. Huh. Okay. Uh, communications. Set up the radio room downstairs to broadcast through the speakers. Don't want to miss tonight's performance. The receiver down there is stronger than the desk radios we have up here. Stash some supplies from the evidence room down there to celebrate once my shift is over. Way I figure it, the rest of the guards will be too busy to check up on me. Alright, some supplies. Probably like booze and stuff, huh? Alright. Let's grab the fucking big kahuna, huh? Let's see, got some scotch too. Look at all this, man. Whiskey. Alright, hell yeah, man. I just want to pull this sucker out. 
Look, we even just recently got 100 in guns. Oh no, we're, we're debuffed a little bit. From what? Oh, we're addicted to steady? Oh shit. So we're ever so slightly low on it. Look at this. Man, this is dope. Looking good. All right. Mentats. Let's see. Oh, look, there's a little secret thing there. Buff out. More buff out. Grenades. A uh, box full of an egg timer. You could We could make an explosive with that, but eh. I'm not too keen on uh, handcrafted explosives, honestly. Or explosives in general, I guess. Especially since we're pretty well off, honestly, now. We've got a nice little uh, supply of, uh, or gathering of resources, so to speak. Alright, let's see. In this desk, sunglasses. Don't worry, dog god, I'll be back for you. Desk, eyeglasses. Alright. Yeah, I think we, we've fully searched up in here. Let's go into uh, this holding area. Hang, hang on a second. We never... Yeah, look at this. Gosh, we, we walked right by these things a whole shitload. Look at a pitcher. Hot plate. Oh, that's a real hot plate. A cosmic knife. Look at all this. Refrigerator full of healing stuff. Instamash. Sure. All right, let's see. We can do some mass purified water. We will use up a lot of dirty water, but honestly, fuck it. Let's go. Right away may be uh, on the uh, downside of the amount of shit that we can have. So, you know, may as well... Oh, look at this! It blended in with the wall. I didn't even notice it. Alright. Anything else hidden around here? Alright. Fair enough. Let's check into the holding area now. Tool cabinet. Scrap metal. Uh, some chips. More chips. It's that radio we blasted. Chips and sunglasses. Man, a lot of sunglasses, huh? I mean, I guess it is a police station. Alright. Pop this open. Can we move this dude? Is this... <laughs> Weird. Can we actually... Oh, wow! We can actually come in here and rest. That's some vodka. Wow, secret stash. Anything under the bed? No. But this is really good to know that we can actually come in here to sleep. Alright. Pop this open. There we are. Ooh, his arm popped off. Oh shit. The purified water is falling through the floor. Uh... God helps those who help themselves. Alright. I like, uh, I gotta say, I like the, uh, creepy religious undertones. That was a theme with, um, the very first game, too. There was, like, that, uh, cathedral and all that with the, the master. It's always pretty neat. And, like, the Brotherhood of Steel is, like, vaguely, uh, religious as well. I like creepy religious stuff. Very macabre. Very corn cob. Some more chips. What else? Is oh, look. Weapon repair kit. Wow! Alright, that's good. Man, we're rolling now. But you know what? I feel like we're going to complete this DLC without ever having spent a single one of those chips in that place. Man, look, this must be the secret stash that the guy was writing about. Alright. I th although I thought he said it was in the basement, but nonetheless, that was definitely a stash. If I've ever seen one. Alright, can we actually poke underneath this desk? Alright, that's about as well as we can poke. Alright, man, we've got some heavy artillery now. And I'm kind of eager to use it, but I don't want to waste it on these, uh, numbnut guys. Here, let's actually whip out our, uh, our throwing knife spears. That way we can, uh, bring our weight down by using them. Alright, now let's check all these rooms. Let's see, did we, yeah, we emptied that out. Oh, right, yeah, back here. First aid box, full of water, cigarettes, whiskey. Plunger and conductor. Not really something we want. Oh, look. More security armor. Look, we can repair up our existing one. Um, is it better than the assassin suit? Yeah, for damage threshold it is, but not for sneak. I kind of like having ten more sneak, though, because I've been sneaking a lot here. Whenever there's scary times, I like to try to be the scary one and sneak around and scare them before they can scare me. 
Oh yeah, we should probably put on this uh, helmet. It is light armor as well. Um, let's see. There we go. Let's repair it up and stick it on. Let's see, how do we look? Man, we look scary now, don't we? It's like we're playing fucking Stalker, Call of Pripyat, or Shadow of Chernobyl, or whatever the hell. Oh, all right. Um, let's see. I can repair these up, huh? Sunglasses. We got a police pistol, yeah. We may as well repair those. Gotta keep the weight down, don't we? All right. Oh, look, this one is locked. This one has something in it. Another police pistol. Wow, I guess we'll just hold on to it. I hope of these companions we can give stuff to. Oh, shit! Bombs! Just a thing full of bombs. Okay. Right on. Uh, reading glasses? No. Terminal? Let's see. Inventory. Got the weapons and the mines in today, along with the shotguns and the ammo. Enough to defend the villa if trouble breaks out. Sinclair is taking the world situation seriously, even all the way out here. Maybe more so, because we're out here. I hate to think if someone got their hands on half the stuff we have stored here- stored there. Here. Blech. Enough military ordnance here to turn the villa into a minefield. Oh, shit. That's not good. Dispenser report. Dispensers are up and running. Unlike most everything else, we've had few problems with them. I heard they'd been part of some World's Fair exhibit Sinclair had seen. So, he contacted the researchers about the dispensers to see if he could use them here. Turns out, dispensers do more than supply convenience items. If there's an emergency, or the threat of communist attack, codes can unlock ammo and repair kits for the dispensers. Stored backups of the codes in the contraband room, just in case. Alright, good to know. Is there something behind this door? No, alright. Yeah, after that one room, gotta definitely be on the lookout. Anything underneath these? No. All right, let's Can clear out this um again. this floor before, before we head into the basement, back. and uh, before we uh, end this one. All right, let's see. Metal box, full of some good Jamba juice. All right, let's see. Can we um? Now we can't make anything just yet, can we? Like I said, it was good Jamba juice, but really it has just weighed us down, honestly. Uh, let's dump this lead pipe. Who needs that? Tire iron? We don't need that either. We've got pokey stuff. Alright. Sure. Yeah, we're literally carrying around C4, so, you know... We don't... <laughs> freaking uh, tire irons as weapons are really not on our... High on our priority list. Tool cabinet? Scrap metal? Taking it? Anything up in this thing? No. Oh, look! That blended in there. 308 round... Rifle rounds. Huh. Alright, that'll be pretty good. That's what the, um, our big blaster uses, right? Yeah, 308. Alright. Man, would be good if we could find something to cure our addiction, but, uh... Looking, seems like the, uh, chances are pretty slim. Alright, I think we cleared out everything up here, right? We did a full fucking supermarket sweep of the place. Alright, yeah, so when next we come back, we're gonna come down here and try to free the dog god and find out what creepy asshole is here writing weird shit on the wall, talking about the dog god, talking about weird shit, talking about tying up the dog god, and, like, maybe setting shitloads of traps. Dog is... or god is watching. What? what Witching. Alright, fair enough. Till next time, peace. The area was rife with danger in the form of pre-war security installations and in an enormous...